welcome back. I hope you're okay, right? I'm going to just do, let's see the person on your mind the most, thoughts and feelings, what they'd like to say to others. Let's just have a look. I left you before you could leave me. All oh, right. Sounds like the person you're connected into is very insecure on some level. You came closer than anyone, so they definitely loved you. I'm getting an avoidant energy here today. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Pretty clear energy today, everyone. This is somebody who loves you. They love you. They loved you. But it's almost like they had an avoidant personality. So there was something within them. It was nothing to do with you. Within their own sort of heart and soul that they couldn't quite process. Um, low self-esteem. Just insecure. I, I just feel there's a very, very insecure energy around someone here today. So I'm going to go deeper into that and see if, you know, today really, I can see somebody still cares about you very deeply. Are they going to do anything about it? Um, or is this energy stuck? So just give these a shuffle. Just while I'm shuffling these though, if you would like a reading, if you just click on the title of the video. It's all in the description box and also the free relationship report. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, all of that. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Right. Okay. I think, gosh, if I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. The way I have treated you was wrong sexual desire. It's almost here today, pretty straightforward. So you'll know if this is your read, narrow it down. I know it's general, but some readings won't be for everybody. This is somebody that someone watching this today was connected into who met, met somebody else, I feel, okay? But it was just a physical you know, those sometimes you meet somebody, you get infatuated and it's all about, you know, sexual desire, really. But the heart and soul is with you. OK, this is somebody I feel who can't get close. OK, they can't get close to people. They'll let people in so far, but then it stops. All right. They know this was wrong. They know the way they treated you was wrong. Um... It's almost as if you were the one, okay? And I feel today that you're the one that's got away. You are the one that almost triggered their deepest, deepest emotions, but also I've got their deepest, deepest fears today. So they, I feel this person is very, I would never say impulsive, but instead of um, sticking at a relationship, the moment it gets too heavy or it, you know, you start triggering them, they've gone to somebody else and it's almost like it's just a physical thing, okay? The person they're with now, if you know they're with somebody else, it's just a physical connection. It was just lust. It was just, you know, that kind of fleeting passion. But I feel today, honestly, everyone, that they did this because they were so frightened of the feelings they had for you or they have for you. You triggered something in them. All right. Let me see what they're going to do next. Let's see what the tower's got to say. Okay. You just triggered them. You, know, you came closer than anybody else. So they let you in so far, they were probably okay, fun, etc., etc. But the minute they started to realise the depth of their feelings for you, and you know, sometimes you could have been with this person for a few years and superficially it was okay, but something with your person was triggered. Okay, let's see what they're projecting out to the world as opposed to what they're feeling deep down. Okay, what are they projecting out, please? They're projecting out at the moment that they're quite happy doing their own thing. Okay, so if you're wondering, you know, what are they telling people? For me, they're telling people that they're quite happy in their own situation, where they're at, what they're doing, and that basically 
it's over between you and this person okay that's but we all do that as humans we all tend to sort of put on a bit of an appearance so that's the appearance they're putting on okay what are they really feeling please what's really going on here what is really going on here yeah they need your help they need your help they know that you were the best friend they ever had okay deep deep down this person knows that you are the best friend that they ever had they regret i'm hearing breadcrumbing you they regret just giving you bits and pieces here and there they regret not giving you their full undivided attention so with this card deep down they would like some form of reconciliation i don't feel they're expecting a heart some flowers reconciliation at the moment but i think what they would like is for you to meet on an equal level like an even keel okay but these two cards together are telling me they are also deep deep down feeling quite lonely without you they are feeling quite cut off the person or what the situation they're in now i feel they don't have the communication that they had with you you know when sometimes you can be with one person and you can talk to them but you never really sort of spill your heart out there's always something you can't quite talk about whereas with you they could talk to you about anything okay they could talk to you about absolutely anything they might need some financial help okay there is a possibility with this combination that they they might need a handout okay that might um that might be relevant for somebody today uh, but they definitely regret breadcrumbing you and if they could go back in time they would handle it differently how they would handle it differently is like i said there would be equal give and take here um if they were a little bit controlling especially financially or if they didn't allow you to grow or there's an energy of somebody classic energy of somebody who managed the money and could have kept you short with money now that might be a uk saying kick so we say in the uk or oh, somebody's keeping them short it means that somebody's got the money or the main bulk of the money and they'll only let you have so much or if they give you something then you kind of keep saying thank you or they'll throw it back in your face further down the line if they did any of that behavior okay they regret that they regret it. They found it very hard to let you go. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this one. I want to know a little bit more on why they felt it was so hard to let you go. I can feel it was hard to let you go. Um, there's somebody here that they're grieving over as well. Okay, specifically... There's somebody they're grieving over, not a relationship. There's something else in your person's life that's caused them pain that they are grieving over, that has had some, some bearance on why they do the things that they do, something they haven't processed. Two more, please. They need guidance. They're like a ship lost at sea. And... They're just projecting this energy, like I say, of, oh, you know, I'm okay, it's over, I'm fine, I'm done. I feel they're searching for you in their dreams, but they're lost. They're very, very lost. It's like you were their guiding star, okay? You were their guiding star. I think they got used to that, and since they left, the excitement or you know the novelty of where they've gone now has worn off okay it's worn off and they're realizing that you were the one to guide them home I just heard that you were the one to guide them home mm. yeah oh dear 
Oh dear, dear, dear. You were the one that gave them the clear solutions. You know, you almost were the lantern fairy. Um, that's an energy for me in this reading. You led the way. You know, you you were the one that helped them. You were the one that sorted their stuff out. But more than that, it was deeper than that. On a soul level, you guided them in the right direction. All right. Let's just have a couple of these. And I'm, I want to know, like I say, why they're finding it so hard or why they found it so hard to let you go. Come to the edge. Gosh. I think they're going to come back in. I think they're waiting. Okay. The energy in the centre is telling me that they, they were led on by somebody else I'm getting today. Okay. They were led on by somebody else who dangled a bit of a carrot or waved a flag or something and, you know, come this way, come this way, I can um, offer you, you know, a bit like the Wizard of Oz. And then you pull that curtain back, or the, you remember the Wizard of Oz, and the curtain comes back and it's all complete fake, okay? They are on the edge, I feel, of coming forward to you, okay? What's blocking them? What's blocking them? Why are they not doing it? Why haven't they done it? What's the blocks, please? Yeah, okay. The blocks today I'm getting is that they are not overly optimistic about their chances, all right? I think they feel that you now have your own beliefs and your own version of events, quite rightly so. I have to say, I hasten to add, quite rightly so, and that if they try to come forward, that you will basically just not entertain it, okay? That you now have got a very, I'm hearing somebody today has got a very strong belief on what happened. Your person is not overly optimistic about um, you actually taking them back, okay? That's the major blockage here today. Let's see why they found it very hard to let you go. What was what was going on there, please? Oh gosh. Six of Cups, yeah. It's almost like whoever this is for today, somebody's almost like known someone in a past life. You just almost had a really, really strong bond, okay? The memories, the re the main reason, and I think I'm just going to take one card for that today because it's just really clear, this energy. The main reason they found it so, so hard to let you go was because of the beautiful memories they took with them, okay? You could have been with this person for quite a long time. You could have had children with this person. Or if not, if you'd had a blended family, but you, you shared children, Okay, they could even here with this um, card in this position be children. You could have met through your children or there is now an element of children that might not be too happy if you got back together. But they found it so hard to walk away from the past. Okay, they found it really, really hard. But unfortunately, because of whatever they got going on in their past, they're avoidant. They don't deal with what they need to deal with. They, they couldn't, somebody somewhere in their past has let them down. I think that's the easiest way of saying it. Somebody's let them down in the past. So they have probably a subconscious fear or a subconscious program running that you were going to do the same or the same was going to happen again. But they found it really hard to leave you. Let's just have a few more cards. They found it very hard to close that cycle out. It's not closed out. The cycle hasn't closed out, you know. It really hasn't. It's 
I think you've, you could have been round and round in circles with this person. Possibly they feel that you have moved on, that you've stepped into something better, um, but for them this cycle isn't over. This cycle is not over. They are stuck in the past, okay? Very, very much stuck in the past. Yeah, they miss the stability. I'm going to throw it out here because I'll always say what I'm hearing, feeling, seeing. They miss the stability. That's, you know, the financial stability. For some people, they miss that family connection. Okay. They could be some of somebody here who's moved away to be with family as well. Okay, just to narrow it down a bit. Somebody has moved away here to be with family. They, somebody's put their family first here over you, okay? Somebody's put their family first here. They could have gone back to their family home. They could have gone back to um, the town that they grew up in. But they've definitely started, or they, they're doing it now, they've put their family first. And they found that really hard to let you go so there's two themes before we wrap this up there's two themes here i have got a theme a really strong theme of someone who does just go to the next shiny object because they are triggered but you know it's almost as if your person's got misplaced loyalty i feel today someone's got a misplaced loyalty to a family situation that they felt they had to go back into or they had to be there for. But it's this family situation that causes them to be emotionally avoidant. So this is really, really common. The family, you know, the dynamics of the family have a big, big thing on people as adults. Um, they're still running, you know, these programs are still running. So your person's felt that almost like they had to go back and prove themselves to a family, to a family or a family situation. But because of this family situation, I'm going to say it again, they, as a person, are emotionally avoidant and find it difficult to be in a relationship. But they still love you. I feel they're going to come back in. They are poised to come back in. Okay? It's almost like they're saying to themselves, right, just do it. Just do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to call the person. I'm going to turn up. I'm going to do something. Okay? But then they're frightened. They're going to come up against some form of opposition. Okay? What opposition are they specifically frightened about? What opposition are they specifically frightened about? Okay, there's, a, there's someone that... Someone they're connected into, or you could both be um, connected into... Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person is part of the blockage. They are quite blunt, quite rude. Um, they don't always plan well. But as a person, they always think their truth is the truth, okay? It's always their truth is the truth. They can be a little bit aggressive. Your person's a, a little bit nervous of this person. OK, that's causing a blockage here as well. Yeah, they want to come in. Right. Your person wants to come in. Knight of Cups. But they're very nervous about somebody who possibly, like I said, an air sign. A very sharp. Oh, just, you know, that, you know, the energy of someone who's just a know it all and they interfere. They will cause problems here. It could be it could be your person's family member but i feel they're going to come back in okay i really really feel this person is going to come back in let me just see what we've got here oh gosh five swords are reserve, uh, reversed yeah whoa the person wants a peaceful resolution to this okay they want to end the conflict between you. So they really are truly, for this card to come up in the reverse, 
Um, they want to lay down the weapons, they want to stop fighting if you've been fighting or if you haven't been speaking, but they just want to handle things differently now. They want a peaceful res resolution with you, okay? If you're in any sort of battle with this person, and this, this is your reading today, they want to compromise, okay? So if you've been stuck in an energy where your person has been fighting with you, um, you know, winner takes it all, doesn't care what they say, who they hurt, they want to lay down arms now, okay? Whether, you, you know, you have free will, as I always say. Yeah, they want to lay down the arms, they want to compromise, they want to communicate with you. They want to communicate with you, okay? You've possibly moved on. They are not overly optimistic. <laughs> they think you've moved on. They think they're going to come up against a brick wall with you. Um, but if you've been in the Five of Swords energy, yes, I can understand why there'd be a brick wall there. Um, that's quite a bitter energy. But there is, today, there's just this energy of this other person. This person who likes to really just be in the midst of all... You know, like as a couple, sometimes you have your own issues and your own problems, but sometimes you just get this one person who just really interferes. And they've always got their, their opinion. And their opinion has to be right and you have to listen to it. And if you don't, they get really... They can get quite nasty. That person's in the midst of all of this. Okay, but they're going to communicate with you. They want to end this conflict. They really, really want to end this conflict. Just before we wrap this up, let's just see if I can find out anything else. Yeah, the lovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, your person is connected into somebody who's devious and two-faced. I think it's this air energy, okay? I think it's somebody who's got a lot of air energy in their, in their chart. But if not, that personality I've described. What is this person, a slap bang in the middle, is what is coming between you and your person, okay? Your person is nervous of them scared of them, doesn't want to upset them, possibly with the Ten of Pentacles, a family member, okay, with the way all these cards have come out today, but boy, they miss you, they do miss you. <clears throat> okay, last card, interesting, they'd like to thank you to, for being so patient with them, okay, They'd like to thank you for not just patience. I think you've still offered this person love in the midst of all of this, uh, with you being left and them being emotionally avoidant. They are really grateful for the fact that you've been so patient with them. Okay, but this person will come back in. Yeah, this this person is going to come back in. All right. Let's just see the bottom of this deck before I wrap this up. Yeah. They want a new beginning, okay? Now, with the fall in reconciliation, if you've been, if you've only been apart for like a few weeks, yeah, they, they will, you know, that's me, someone who will come back in, but maybe not taking it too seriously. So that's just something to watch out for. But if you've been apart for a while, it's like somebody who wants to bring that lovely new happy energy in and wipe the old story and leave the past in the past take it day by day rediscover each other you know nothing too heavy i was getting that when i said earlier it won't be hearts and flowers because i think they're too scared although we've got the knight of cups that loves there but I don't think you would tolerate any love bombing, and they know that. They've got to come in with something better here, all right? But there is still this one person who is a troublemaker, and they're still in the energy. It could be, like I say, it's either a family member, but it's a general read, it could be. It could even be one of their exes, your exes, or 
if they have connected into a third party, because I feel for some of you, someone has, they've just gone into another relationship because they didn't want to face the depth of the relationship they had with you. So I'll leave that with you, everyone. Thanks so, so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves and just always remember, you're the operant power. You get to choose, you know. This is your movie. Your life is your movie. You're the director, the script writer, the main player. You get to write what happens here. All right, this is just, like I always say, this is just an energy, okay? It's just an energy. So I love you all. Remember, you're amazing, you're wonderful, you're gorgeous. Speak soon. Bye.